In this demonstration, we're illustrating Faraday's law and Lenz's law. So in a previous example, we had a fixed, fixed set of coils where we moved a magnetic field through the coils. And in this example, we're not moving the magnetic field, but we're moving the coils themselves. And this, so we have a magnetic bar magnet, and we have a set of wire that's connected to a galvanometer, which again measures the current. And right now, when they're connected, since there's no power supply, we have a zero current reading on the galvanometer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the current, I'm going to move the loop through the magnetic field such that we have magnetic field lines moving from left to right. And when I move the current through, you can see that because we have a change in magnetic flux through the coil, you get a small little reading in the galvanometer. Now if I change the cross-sectional area of my loop and move it in the magnetic field, by Faraday's law, you can see that we have a increased induced current because it's proportional to the cross-sectional area of the flux going through. Now in addition to changing the area, I can, I can increase the number of coils. So instead of one coil, I can wrap this up four times. So now I have four coils. And now as I move this through the magnetic field, you can see a dramatic increase in the amount of induced current going through the, the wires. And again, that's because the induced EMF is proportional to the number of coils that are going through the magnetic field.